can we give some credit to uh, someone very important to, to, I think, the comedy world and to you personally, someone sadly who was a victim of this COVID-19 uh, pandemic, Hal Wilner, who was the uh, musical director at SNL for so many years. Hal was very nice to me right away, which I was sort of like, I don't know that I deserve this. And he is uh, was one of the most bizarre people I've ever met in my life. So Monday night, I was in the kitchen here and I was like, I was DJing for Kevin and Matt. And I was like, I'm gonna find the perfect song, like taking it too seriously. And I was scrolling through my library and then I, it was taking me forever. And then I was like, this is the song, this is the perfect song. And I played Perfect Day by Lou Reed. Mm -hmm. And I was like singing to them and they were like, what is this? And I said, I was like, you don't know Perfect Day by Lou Reed? And then we just, uh, listened to the whole thing, and then Tuesday found out Hal had passed, and then uh, Friday, or then Saturday, watching the episode. That's the I was like sobbing, so I missed a lot of it. But that was the song they played for Hal, and it was just like I was listening to it that night. It's it's kind of perfect. Yeah. Hal is like secretly the coolest person on earth. Underneath the like, the weird hat and bizarre, I, he was just, he knew everybody. Tell people at home, like, what exactly he did for the show and how integral he was. <laughs> Anything that's, like, music that sets a live sketch, that's sort of just scene setting, that's all Hal. The Sansa Modesto theme and the, uh, you know. Yes, the all of that. Yeah. Right, right. Anytime you're, like... Can we have something that sounds like like 1960s Italian soap opera? And you'll just write that, and someone makes it happen, and it's how. It's incredible. The king of the sound alikes. That's important to have sound yeah. alikes. You're doing a broadcast television. Yes. What's cool about your career in particular? It's not as if you're just, you know, a very funny and talented actress who auditioned for SNL and you know got onto the show and. Uh, yeah, like, okay, cool. This is a good step in my career, yada, yada, yada. I'm you also a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's amazing how you can get so far while being such a pain in the ass. <laughs> no, but you, like me, we're, we're, we're pretty much the same age. We grew up loving SNL, imitating Phil Hartman, right? I mean, you were, you were into it. Oh, for sure. I mean, I, like all, all the eras, too. And I watched uh, Gilda's Broadway show her one woman show your favorite sketches growing up the ones that you remember the most like specifically the parodies because i know you love the parodies as much as i did i loved schmidt's gay schmidt's gay <laughs> um and i really liked this um random one with roseanne and phil hartman which was the bit which like the credit card one the credit card one. and it was like phil hartman kept going he was like my card didn't work and i called and they were really nice or something. And then it's Roseanne going, so this guy calls. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seeing the both sides of it. How, yeah. how about, how about Colin Blow cereal with Phil Hartman? Super Colin Blow, yeah. Super Colin, super Colin Blow. And perhaps my, my favorite, Happy Fun Ball. Happy Fun Ball, yeah. <laughs> like I saw Happy Fun Ball, I remember watching it the first time live and like losing my mind at just how you could write comedy that way, you know? I, oh, I was, and Bad Idea Jeans. Bad Idea Jeans. Let's probably read that one up. What was it like? So I think I'm gonna tell my wife about <laughs> when I slept with her sister. Yeah, yeah, yeah you should. <laughs> and they're getting ready to play basketball. <laughs> yeah, so okay. And now you're actually doing SNL commercial patterns. It's just, what a career. Isolate Night with Scott Rogowski, live every Sunday through Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern.